Welcome back to the Happy Camper. And hello from our good friend and greeter Macy. We're coming to you as always from the beautiful mountains of southwest Montana. And today we're bringing you an Avenger ATI by Primetime Manufacturing. This model is 26 BBS and it's a tandem axle bunkhouse with a super slide out. We'd like to thank our friends and sponsors at Rocky Mountain RV in beautiful Butte, Montana. Check out their website at RockyMTNRV.com for this and lots and lots of other great RV products. Rocky Mountain RV does provide all the inventory for our videos and we do appreciate their help very much. Let's take a quick walk around this new Avenger and see what it has to offer. Here on the front corner, the door side, is access into the great storage compartment. And I feel like this is one of the best features of this particular model. The storage is open all the way in. It goes all the way across to another full-size door on the other side. You can see there's nothing obstructing the, the access or the passability of this cargo. I'll show you when we get inside, this is, is accessible from inside as well. As we back up on the front of the coach here, you'll see it is equipped with two 5-gallon or 20-pound LP tanks, a standard manual tongue jack, and this does have an auto switch dual LP regulator. As we come around the off-door side of the coach here, you'll see that Avenger does use a black diamond plate down here at the bottom. They use that as a bit of a rock guard. Above it, of course, the corrugated aluminum siding, and that is going to be over a traditional wood frame. On the off-door side, we'll see our front scissor stabilizer jacks here. Those are on all four corners. This is our gravity water inlet for our portable tank and the nice feature to that is for for Montana camping if you're out on extended stays you can still pour water into that inlet through a can or a bucket to add a little extra water if we're out on a long trip furnace service access is mounted over here see lots of windows here on the Avenger ATI great big picture window here on the face of the slide out one thing I really like about this Avenger for the Montana climate is they do not use a plastic or vinyl fender skirt. It's just simply a cutout in the, in the rolled skirting, bottom metal, with a rubber edging. It looks just fine and you'll never crack as all of those vinyl products are so prone to do in this climate. Back here at the back we have another great big storage access that's in underneath the rear bunk of the unit. And again, you can see some of the wood framing there. Down below, our sewer connection. And you can see that this unit is a fully enclosed underbelly. The valves themselves are enclosed up inside the belly of the unit to keep them heated and out of the weather and away from harm. The great part to that is the sewer pipe is also tucked up very close to the bottom of the trailer so we don't have any issues as far as as far as dragging that off on our Montana back roads. Right here at the back corner of the unit is where our power cord is located. It comes out of this simple hatch, pulls directly out of the trailer, and plugs in. Back bumper will house our sewer hose, as most RVs do. This unit is running the Dometic slash Atwood Fast recovery, six gallon hot water heater. That little water heater will produce about 18 gallons of hot water per hour, so about three tanks per hour. Very good little water heater. Spare tire, of course. And here on the back corner, we do have a little bit more plumbing. On the right, of course, is our outside shower. That is a hot and cold with a hand sprayer. This has a shut off button, just like your inside shower. 
And that's great when our little friends, like over here, go decide to get in the mud or find a skunk or things that the that dogs love to do in this in this area. It also works great for washing out a cooler or whatever else you need. City water connection is here. If you're in an RV park or at home, you can connect your water hose into this connection and work off your city water pressure without your tank or your pump being involved. It's a nice feature. It's rarely used in Montana, however. On the back corner, Avenger does install this small D-ring loop, and they tell me that they do that as a dog leash area. So you can throw your dog on a leash there if you need to, if you're in an area where you can't have your dog just free. I personally don't believe in camping in areas where your dog can't run free. On the door side, of course, our power awning. And again, one of the greatest features that the RV industry has come up with, very easy to use. Push button in, push button out. One person requires no, no thought process. You just push the button and in it comes. So again, if you're out on a ride with the kids, your wife's back at the camper, the wind comes up, she can simply push the button, run the, the slide out, or excuse me, the awning right in, and we don't end up with any wind damage. It's a great system. This awning is adjustable. A lot of people will ask me that question. Can you adjust a, a power awning? And yes, you can. You just simply pull down on this arm, tighten that knob, and that will allow this end to be dipped down. If it's raining, you can let the water run off that rain. To run it, to release it, just simply loosen the knob, and the little gas strut here will bring it right back to full height. And that is adjustable on either end, so if you want to run the rain off one side or the other, completely possible. Exterior speakers are a standard feature on the 2019 Avenger. Nice to be able to listen to your stereo outside. We also have a full length LED light strip up here in the base of the awning. That is another great feature that lights the entire side of the coach with a good bright light doesn't seem to attract the bugs near as much as a standard incandescent and really saves on power especially when you go inside and forget to turn it off which is a common occurrence at the entry door here the Avenger is running the LCI solid step I have great reviews on these from customers they seem to really like the way that these steps work they like how solid they are on the ground the legs down here are adjustable in case you're on uneven terrain, you can adjust them side to side, and they will fold up right inside the door. I'm going to make a separate video just on these steps to explain how they work a little bit better. Let's step inside the Avenger and see how the interior looks. The 26 BBS, like I said, is a fairly classic bunk configuration with a very, very nice modern flair to the interior. You'll see a very light countertop, light flooring, and nice dark cabinets to give it some contrast. The flooring is a bit of a tile look. A little bit of carpet over here towards the slide out. Big U-shaped dinette. Ventilation windows on each end of the slide out as well as this giant picture window this model still does have a sofa a little bit different configuration than you normally see but it works very well overhead cabinets and lighting and against the door side kitchen cabinets again with good lighting microwave refrigerator range and storage. The thing I like about the sofa location in this unit is the TV location is down here. So if we are running a TV in the unit, you can sit on the sofa, you don't have to turn your head. It's a problem in a lot of bunk models and this resolves that issue. You can see here that we do have an internal stereo and this is going to be an AM FM it is going to have a USB port, an HDMI port, uh, auxiliary in, so it will pair with almost any of your any of your components. TV location again. This unit was not optioned with a TV. 
And again, it's not an issue. You can always add it very easy at the point of sale. So certainly don't let a, a simple thing like a TV deter you. Over here in the kitchen, we start at the entry door with, of course, our fire extinguisher and some good storage. It's a great spot for hats or gloves or whatever you might need right at the entry door there. Dog leash, all the good things. Control panel here on the end of the cabinet. It's going to have some light switches conveniently located as you walk in. So the second you walk in, immediately to your left, you'll have light switches to get your trailer lit up if you are coming in at night. Awning switch, again, that's just a simple push, extend, or tract, and slide out switch is the same affair. An interesting little side note, Primetime does add this small bottle opener here next to the door. Coming down into the kitchen, you can see a large gooseneck spring assist faucet, and this is going to have a pull-out sprayer, so you can work around all those dishes. And a nice big farm style single bowl sink with a strainer drain. At the base of this cabinet, see we do have an electrical outlet. Three full size storage drawers. And these are plywood boxes with full extension ball bearing roller guides. And we do have three of those coming down. They do also have a little travel latch built in. And they work very smooth. Underneath our sink is a very common small storage area. And then one of the other nice features is this large pot and pan drawer. Again, on ball bearing rollers and with a good wood box. Our Furion range system completes this modern looking kitchen very nicely. It is lighted. It has a glass cover top over the three burners that keeps it very flush with the, with the countertop level. So you do have extra counter space when you have that closed. It's a spring assist that holds it up and of course the three burners underneath. Something interesting to the RV industry that we haven't had in a long time is an oven with a window. Furion came up with this oven oh, a couple of years back. It's been a big hit throughout the RV industry. Our backsplash behind our range top is backlighted in this particular model, giving us a nice look. We do have an overhead range with a light and a fan, microwave, and of course additional overhead storage completes the kitchen. You can see how nice the LED lights bring this trailer to life. And again, what a great innovation for our industry. Very, very much reduced battery consumption, which is always a hot topic issue. And those are going to be throughout the unit. You can see these LEDs have a push button on and off right on the face. And then some of them will have a switch on the wall as well, depending on the location. This unit's running Dometic, six cubic foot, double door refrigerator. Fairly standard in the RV industry. Gives you a good amount of storage space in your refrigerator, even for a longer stay. And again, what I find with RVs is you're going to have just your perishable foods in here, things you don't want to get wet. And you're still going to carry a cooler with all of your drinks and ice and those sorts of things with you as well. The refrigerator, of course, is gas electric. Get focused. There we go. Uh, gas electric functions both on the refrigerator. The climate control is automatic. Down below the fridge here we have some of our safety equipment as well as our power converter and 12 volt fuses and 110 volt breakers. This is our 110 side here. 12 volt fuses over here. Power converter in this model is mounted in below. You will hear a fan in here from time to time and this unit kick on and off when the power converter is operating. It's just simply a cooling fan. Right next to it there, we can tell that that's an our LP gas detector due to its location down close to the floor. LP gas is heavier than air. It will sink down to this level if we had a leak. And that, that little, uh, that little detector will let us know that we have a problem. 
Side note on LP gas detectors are they are connected directly into your main power source and your batteries up front. They do not have their own battery. So they are a parasite drain on your batteries. Any time that, that you have batteries on the coach, this little thing is operating. And in about two weeks' time, that will run two completely charged batteries 100% dead. So that is something to remember. It doesn't hurt in storage to disconnect your batteries so you still have some power when you get back to using them. Or install a power disconnect switch. The bathroom in the 26 BBS Avenger is a little bit different than what you normally see. We do have the sink split outside with an overhead vanity. And this does have storage inside of it. And again, I think they did a very nice job with this. We have a little bit of counter space around the sink. It's not an extraordinary amount, but we do have this little shelf up here as well. And then down below, we do have a nice little storage panel here. The rest of the bathroom is going to be inside, of course, the door. That's again a fairly basic affair. Vented power fan. Going to have our tub and shower system over here, as well as our basic foot flush RV toilet and a fairly basic shower curtain. Again, at the price point of this unit, I think this, this is adequate. One thing that people will notice is they do not put a plastic shower surround in this particular unit. And again, it's a, it's a cost savings issue and it's also a very large um, warranty claim um, status. So they decided to delete the, uh, the shower surround in here. The wallboard in here is completely coated in vinyl. So it is waterproof. Now, of course, we do have places where they have nails through the through the wallboard. We do have, you know, of course, some sealant over here to try to keep everything as dry as possible. If you're using this as just simply a weekend camping coach, the kids might take a bath, the adults might shower, oh, every other trip or so, you won't have any issues with this. If you're going to use it more consistently than that, you may want to look into installing a plastic shower surround in the walls in here just to keep the walls a bit drier. Again, in Montana's climate with the cold weather, all plastic products have a tendency of cracking. And that is a major issue with, with shower surrounds. So just keep that in mind. In here, of course, again, in here we do have a switch on the wall that's going to operate our overhead light. So if we have kids, they can still reach the light switch in the bathroom. We have our monitoring system here for black, fresh, gray, and battery voltage, or excuse me, battery levels. Our water pump switch, as well as our water heater switch, are all mounted in the bathroom in this unit. Have a nice swing door, modern conventional style uh, twist handle. Up here we have oversized bunks. These are not double over double, but they are oversized from a standard bunk. Perfectly comfortable, even for for bigger kids to sleep in. This one has a window at the back that does open for ventilation. Over here on the side, we have an LED light. And again, this is a push on the face, push again to turn on. And we do have USB charging ports. The bottom bunk, while it does not have a window, does still offer your LED light and your USB charging ports. These bunks are rated at 250 pound capacity. So they are a good amount of weight carrying. So again, we don't have to worry about kids sleeping there. It won't be a bit of an issue. The U-shaped dinette provides a lot of, of service in this unit. Gives you a lot of space. I feel like you could sit five to six full-size adults around this comfortably. It does make down into a bed. The table top will set down into this rail section on the bottom of the, of the, uh, the benches. The back cushions will complete over the top of the tabletop to make a bed. And this bed will be nearly seven feet long and four feet wide. So again, if you have other adults that do go with you on occasion, you'll have a bed that's long enough for them to deal with. This unit uses an in-floor ducting for the furnace. And of course, it is a standard uh, forced air, gas furnace, 12 volt. Everything will work off grid with the exception of your microwave oven and your roof mount air conditioning. For those items, we do need electricity. 
If you add a TV, they are generally also 110 volt electricity. Your refrigerator will go both ways. It has gas function, LP gas function, as well as an electric function. The water heater in this unit is strictly gas. Up here, our little sofa is a height of bed sofa. And it's a fairly short bed if it's laid down. Wouldn't be usable for an adult. I would definitely consider it to be a child's bed. But again, we have beds that are full-sized, big enough for adults, and we have four of them in this unit. So I don't think the smaller sofa is a bit of an issue. Climate control is here, both furnace and air conditioning. Coming up into the front bedroom, they do run a solid wall with a slide across uh, door to close it all off in the main opening. Has a little travel latch back in here. It is wired up here for another TV and you can mount one here on the front wall. It has a TV antenna overhead. Again, some LED lighting, some USB ports, as well as some electrical outlets on each side of your bed. And again, your electrical outlets are only going to work if you're plugged into electricity or you have your generator running. If you run a CPAP like I do, you'll find those side mount outlets are a great service. Hanging closets on each side of the bed, as well as overhead storage. It's a nice deep storage cabinet, gives you lots of space to get all your clothes in. Like we talked about from the outside, here underneath the foot of the bed will lift up and access your storage compartment. It does have a little prop rod here to hold that open if you're working under here by yourself. Now the things that you ha absolutely have to have on a unit like this to make it functional are going to be batteries, or at least a battery, that will mount up on the tongue just behind the propane tanks. The batteries do not come from the factory they're dealer installed, and depending on your dealer, they're going to install one or two, and in some cases even they do no batteries and make you buy that separately. Our sponsors at Rocky Mountain RV do install two green top uh, interstate batteries. They'd be group 24 sized in plastic cases. They do that at no charge. And the dual batteries are installed on all of their tandem axle models. Their single axle models will get a single battery in most circumstances. Rocky Mountain RV also provides this accessory kit from Valterra and this gives you all the things you need to start with your RV. Again this unit is designed to be a first-timers or, or a young family's RV and they're probably going to need a few things to get started. If you don't have them already, these are the things you absolutely must have. A freshwater non-toxic inlet hose, a couple extra rolls of toilet paper and some bio pouches for your black tank that'll charge and, and de-sanit- uh, de- um, excuse me, sanitize your black tank. Uh, sewer hose elbow and this is required if you go into RV parks and you're hooked up into a, into a sewer dump. It's absolutely required for RV parks and it is very functional as far as going to just simply uh, the, the local dump station and dumping it as well. You get a positive connection, your hose clips directly into it. This does come with a 10 foot sewer hose as well as a surface level, a water pressure regulator which again is a necessary item, and a 30 to 15 amp 110 volt power cord adapter. They do also put in a couple of sets of uh, sanitary gloves to help you while you're dumping. So little things like that is what makes Rocky Mountain RV different from other dealers. You must check with your dealer to find out what they include with your unit and what they're going to charge you for separately. Pluses and minuses on the, on the Avenger ATI 26 BBS would be again, come over here and look at the pricing. This unit has an MSRP from Forest River of just under $29,000. And it looks like Rocky Mountain RV has this one on their price at $18,999. And that is an awful lot of trailer for that kind of money. Very, very impressed with this unit for, for the dollar. If you're a first time RVer, you have a young family, you want to get out, but you don't want to buy that small, small little camper, 
you want to have a little bit of room with the super slide out, this would be an excellent, excellent option. It is lacking a few minor features in my opinion, but I think it's a great value for the dollar. I think this unit would serve you extremely well. It's got a great look with the modern interior. It's got some great newer features like the Furion range and the big gooseneck faucet and the solid step, the power awning. The detriments to the unit would be minor things. Again, the shower stall in the bathroom, that depends on how you're going to use the unit, whether that's an issue or not. I can tell you that I have a small camping trailer that I use for weekend stuff, and I do not have a shower surround in it, and I've never had an issue with it. Uh, again, the 5-gallon propane tanks on the tongue, some people would look at that as a detriment. I look at that as, quite honestly, very adequate for a unit this size. Two 5-gallon propane tanks will get you three to four weekends of use in summertime camping. And again, they're easy to change out. They, they're available in the gas exchanges. So I don't think that that's a, a major issue with this unit. Overall, I would definitely recommend the Avenger ATI as a great backwoods little camping trailer that's gonna keep it affordable. Again, if you look at a trailer that's gonna sell in the $19,000 range, a payment plan, a good payment plan with a decent dealer is gonna get you into that trailer in the $180 per month range. And that's extremely affordable for a family of four or five to go enjoy some time together. Get everybody away from the cell phones, and the video games, and all the things that make our life complicated and keeps us apart. Go out and spend a little time with, with your family around the campfire. Do the things that, that you enjoyed when you were a kid. We'd like to thank you for watching the video. If you appreciate our content, please like, share, and subscribe. Again, our sponsor for the unit that we're reviewing today is Rocky Mountain RV. Their website is rockymtnrv.com. If I were in the market for a small bunkhouse camp trailer, I would definitely be checking out to see how many of these RMRV has available at that kind of pricing. Again, we encourage you to enjoy the August weather. Get out and enjoy the outdoors. And happy camping.